They're all in this jungle. Oh, the hookshot lands it. at the bottom lane. They're going to be able to catch the Leshrac. He's trying to battle underneath the tower, but it's not going to work out. The ultimate isn't enough. That said, MR, he gets him with the Nightmare, the Brain Sap, and a couple right clicks. Can he get the last one? The Hell Push is going to go off back over to middle lane. They do have the Burrow Strike on the Kaka. Looks like they will be able to get at least the kill of the Clockwork, but it's going to be serious cost as they're going to lose the Sand King as well as the Tusk in that situation. Oh, and they stack. take over the stack as well. CTY, he has more than enough with the help of the Splinter Blast to take some of this. Let's see if SC can get the last little bit with a couple of raises. That was more than enough, and he's got to be careful oh, because Old oh. Chicken here, he starts battling it out with Old Chicken, but there's too many heroes from E-Home. They immediately swarm in, take over the SF kill, and will go back with Leshrac. He's going to be able to get the Viper kill. Old Levin, he's going to be stuck in this situation as well. Leshrac picks up both, and CTY says, well, you created space, boys. Not for any kills. I just got neutrals. Now, thinking about going forward, but if he does, he may be hit by the Sand King, who does have the epicenter. Ready to go. Another rocket not seeing CTY feeling pretty confident, but now the Sand King shows himself. Reveal doesn't quite hit that Burrow Strike onto the Bounty Hunter, and now it's CTY's turn to respond. Old Chicken moves forward. SC pops the old pin, does turn things around. Good win to Wyvern as he gets the call in the brace, but it's not enough. Too much magic damage. Now CTY coming in with the double damage, fights up against Leshrac, does get that kill. SC barely survives the new Shuriken, but it's CTY. He's just going to be able to clean house here. His old 11 moves forward, gets him with the cogs, and MR is going to be the last one to fall as Newbie Young take the fight underneath their tier one tower, and E Home gladly respond with the tier Team wide. It's going to be a perfect opportunity. Well, hold on. This is going to be a good opportunity to catch SC. Getting the battery cell, trying to prevent that ultimate. SF pops the mech, but he just seems completely wasted. There goes the Sonic Wave. Still, though, the Electric has come in. Winter's Curse getting laid down. He immediately gets focused. Gets a decent amount of damage, but it just doesn't seem to be enough for Newbie Young. They might be able to get Old Chicken underneath that tower. Looks like that will be the red. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And the SF doesn't have BKB, Mech, or his ultimate, so I think you actually just re-engage in a second here. You get the cold embrace, trying to save the bounty hunter. CTY starts making his initiation. It looks like Sand King is going to be the first one going down for a hit. Now the one shot goes in. Lock it out to Lee. He's going to try and get out of here, but he's going to be caught still by the Shadow Strike. And they're going to try and catch SC as well. They got no, they've got these three free kills. But if they can catch up to the SF as well, that's going to be a big one. The Shadow Strike lands, and SC is just not getting out of here. He doesn't even have the mana for the mech. It's just going to be slow down kind of around and they'll get that kill as well an ultra kill for cty is once again he starts building up that killing spree epicenter and perhaps they even have ellie go in with the snowball and help the last strike out they do get 11 but they have both the cold embrace as well as the glimmer cape and now Jaja needs some help. They get the cold embrace as well. Now the Winter's Curse laid on him. They're going to catch out LE. Their snowball breaks into Leshrac. No, he misses him. And Leshrac falls. There goes most of the damage. Epicenter. Pro Strike on a two. Good setup. But CTY, he popped his BKB before him. They're still going to be able to get this kill. Or maybe not. The cold embrace buying some more time. CTY is completely out of mana. And will be needing a little bit of those bottle hits. Jumps back in. Goes for LE. Will be able to get that kill. Turns on to MR. He'll get that one as well. It's only SD left. Oh, but he has a so tower is under attack. Had to get around till the end, and Newbie Young have dropped a full five once again against Newbie. But it's CTY with the full six slotted Queen of Pain coming in. He's got about to have Daedalus, but Newbie Young, they're going to be running in once again. The five men smoke, not a great position. The ultimate goes out, but it's really nothing now. The Winter's Curse gets laid up by Lottom. He's got a refresher ready to go, but Jojo comes forward with his BKB. CTY doesn't care. He's got magic immunity of his own. He's got the pure damage to threaten the last strike. Takes him out. Second Winter's Curse. Round two, but still, the Sankey gets a decent initiation, but he can't even kill the supports. Lottom's going to survive. The SF goes down, and it's just cleaning house for Ehome as they are easily on the victory march here in this best of one against Newbie Young. It's going to be a total wipe. And there it is, the GG. You knew that was Newbie Young's last stand with that five-man smoke and not even picking up more than one kill. They'll go ahead and surrender against Ehome. And unfortunately, Newbie Young, they had a really good showing in the group stage, but this is where their journey ends. Whereas Ehome, in a dominant performance, are going to continue on. And maybe this will build a little bit more confidence as E-Home move forward in the uh, the days of the tournaments. Perhaps they'll look a bit better and better as time goes on compared to that group stage performance. But they're out of the best of one section. They'll be moving on to the best of three. And that is it.